Hello friends, it's me Chenwin Coder. This is the ninth chapter in the Java FX 3D development tutorial series. In the last video, we talked about illumination. We talked about light source, ambient lights and point lights, and we created a simple point light source. In this video, we will take that into another level. We will create a moving light source. As you can see, I have created a point light source here and it is rotating about the x-axis around the box and the box is getting illuminated based on the location of the light source like this so we will see how to do that in this chapter so coming back to the code this is where we left off in the chapter 8 we have our light and the light color is red and we added a simple transform to move it uh, outside of the object so this is the current situation somehow we have to move it and in order to do animation in java fx 3d there is a thing called animation timer so this animation timer will be called continuously so so if i write a method like this and call the timer dot start then this handle method will be get called continuously during each frame update that method will be called so if you look at the documentation you can see that it allows to create a timer that is called in each frame while it is active so it will be called for each frame so here we can do the rotation property in order to get this effect effect so uh, what i am going to do is i am going to do some rotation for this point light source so in order to access this point light outside this block I'm going to take it outside and making it private and I can make it final too so I have a light source and that light source is added and here what I can do is I can set the rotation point light dot set rotate which will take a double value so here we can specify the angle of current rotation so if we keep on increasing this angle that it will keep on rotating so point light dot i have to get the current rotation so get rotate plus one so during each frame we will increase the rotation angle by one degree so that is about this part now we have to set the axis of rotation whenever you use say rotate transform you have to specify the angle of rotation so here i'm going to set the rotation axis sorry you have to set the axis of rotation so here uh, you can set the rotation axis with a point 3d value and in the rotate you have the x y c axis so you can specify based on which axis you want to rotate so i am going to give rotate dot x axis so it will rotate about the x axis like this and that is fine and one more thing we have to do is uh, this point light and sphere should be bounded so whenever the point light moves the sphere also moves so we will get a visual feedback on where the point light is currently okay in order to do that you have to bind the property so the rotate property of sphere should be binded with the uh, should be bound with point light rotate property and the axis of rotation of sphere should also bound with the axis of rotation of point light so that that those are the two mandatory thing now if i run this program this moving lights then you can see it is rotating about x-axis around the object and, and if you zoom in you can see the illumination correctly let us just wait until it comes here so it is increasing increasing and when it goes it keeps on decreasing so that's a rotation or moving light source so you can add a dynamic lighting like this and let me show you one more thing you can always add more than one light source in a single scene for example right now we have a simple point light and let me show you what if if i add one more light to the scene so uh, group dot get children and add method here i can simply add any light i want so here i am going to add one ambient light with uh, without any specific color with white color now what let's see what happens if i run this program 
And as you can see right now, we got the combination of both the colors. We, we are getting the red color from the point light source as well as the ambient light. So the ambient light is there and the point source is there. So like that, you can add as many light sources as you want in your Java FX 3D world. And that's the end of this video. In the next video, we will see more about this Java FX 3D. So as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more.